Battlefield has just dropped a new gameplay trailer featuring three of the new maps coming with the launch of Battlefield 2042. In addition to seeing new gameplay on new maps, we also get to look at what the new UI looks like, a couple of new guns, as well as maybe some changes to better distinguish who's on what team. Let's have a look at the new map, Renewal. Renewal is set in Egypt with a giant wall dividing the map down the middle, separating desert from man-made agricultural areas. We get to see Specialist Irish at the beginning of the gameplay as he's seen placing his deployable cover. You can clearly see that the deployable cover is going to be a time gadget that has to recharge before another is placed. Irish can also be seen using the DM7, it is an AR-15 style carbine with the V7 variant debuting in 2015. The map itself is huge and the gameplay seems to be centered around the man-made agricultural area. As can be seen in the gameplay, this map will feature a wide variety of vehicles including tanks, helicopters, and jets. There are some very interesting things to notice in the second gameplay cut of this map. First thing worth noting is that there seems to be a distinction between friendly players and the enemy team. As can be seen in this clip, it seems that the enemy team have more of a gray attire as compared to the brown colored attire of friendlies. Also, we see Dozer's riot shield in action. It seems that when crouching, your team can also shoot over the riot shield, so we'll see how the mechanic is used in the future. Next up, we have Breakaway. This map is massive. Announced to be the biggest map on release, we can see the massive scale just in the opening showcase. It sits at a whopping 5.9 kilometers squared. One funny thing to point out here is the fact that there's a tank on top of the big old cliff up here, which uh, we saw a lot in the beta on the big orbital tower with people spawning vehicles up there. Just makes me laugh thinking of a vehicle being where it's not supposed to be or where it would have a hard chance getting up to. As Sundance is coming down, we also see some snow falling from an ice ledge. This is a cool detail and I hope that there will be some destruction mechanics or weather effects that can make this happen more often. After taking out his first opponent with the AK-24, we see McKay use the M44 Magnum to take out his next threat. As a continuation of the classic revolver, it has a generous one-hit kill headshot range that we can see clearly shown in the trailer. Next up is Discarded. This map is based in India and centers around fighting amongst colossal stranded ships and other terrains. As the fighting scene opens, we see Specialist Dozer using the 12M Auto Shotgun. This updated shotgun seems to pack a punch at close range and of course is automatic. We sadly don't get to see the range of the shotgun since someone else kills the enemy player at range. We then get to see a little bit of helicopter gameplay, but what it really showcases is how big and diverse this map is. There seems to be a lot of hilly terrain with little bits of buildings all dispersed throughout. We see some very clear bigger areas that will likely house conquest points and big scale fighting as well. Overall, this trailer has got me much more excited to play Battlefield 2042 on launch. If this game runs and looks half as good as what we're seeing, I think this will be one of the best looking battlefields to date. We have now seen four of the seven maps. Orbital was one that we uh, got to play on the beta. And it was awesome, even with the little quirks of the beta. I would not be surprised if we see a reveal of the other three maps in the coming week or so, as well as more gameplay. And when that time comes, you'll know where to look. To keep updated on more Battlefield news and updates, as well as gameplay when the game releases on November 19th, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you're most excited about. And consider liking the video if you thought it was helpful. But until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Wasteland out.